Guys, most of the flights out of Burbank go north, which is that way. But because of weather patterns, they take off to the south, which is right behind us. From there, they make a U-turn before getting on course. And tonight, members of neighboring communities say that a new flight plan from the FAA is sending aircraft over schools and protected land. Children are so-called sensitive receptors, so they ma it makes them very vulnerable. Parents like Lucy Ayers were among the hundreds of people who filled a Burbank library tonight. They're concerned about images like these, planes flying over campuses like Carpenter Elementary and Walter Reed Middle School in Studio City after a takeoff from Burbank Air... One, one, five, clear for takeoff. People in parts of the San Fernando Valley have complained about the Federal Aviation Administration's latest transportation system called NextGen, which rolled out in Southern California last March. At the heart of the proposed plan is a satellite-based system that's designed to promote efficiency after takeoff. But neighbors south of the 101 freeway say they've seen more planes flying over their schools and homes, and they're concerned about the noise. We noticed several planes flying over Colfax Elementary in Valley Village, where Levi Chen says the noise isn't unbearable. I feel like it's a part of life. It's just ambient noise in the city. You can see that the track did shift south. I'm a study from a consulting firm found flights have been drifting south in recent years, but the FAA's plan was only partially responsible. That's why parents like Lucy Ayers want an environmental impact study done on the proposed procedure, which isn't required by federal standards. If they don't, the parents of all of these schools are here and we're not slowing down. The FAA is holding two workshops next month to answer questions from the public. In addition, a 30-day comment period will be made available before the proposal is made permanent. Live at the Burbank Airport, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. All right, Jeff.